Okay, for this assignment, we're going to make a lasso tool photo collage. So basically, you're going to find a bunch of pictures, use the lasso tool to cut them out, kind of like they were cut out with scissors, and just put them all together. So you can make a scene like this where there's just a bunch of random things that maybe don't mean a lot. Or let me show you some of the other ideas. You can use text and letters, put letters together to make words or other words that already exist to make sentences. Um, you can make a lot of very strange and interesting things, putting animal heads on different bodies. You can make collages of maybe your favorite movie characters or sports heroes. You can This one here, someone used the marquee tool, which just makes squares. You can just cut out squares of different photos of faces and put them together to make another face. So there's a lot of creativity and flexibility. It doesn't even have to be like very neat. You know, things can be cut out really roughly so that it looks like it's torn or cut. If you were going to do something like this, I would recommend like opening up a picture of a dog and then, or an animal or whatever, and then just copy and paste pictures that have the um, color that you're trying to put in that area. All right, so there's, there's some ideas I want to show you now just how to get started with your project. So you're going to make a new document here. So you're going to go File, New, and this splash screen might come up on your computer when you first open it anyway, but if it doesn't, you just go to File, New. And you want to say Photo, so pick Photo from the top, then choose Portrait, 8 by 10 and then make sure that artboards is not checked over here and then you're gonna say create I already did that and I want to show you the tools that we're going to be using so if you go over here you can use the marquee tools to select squares rectangles or ellipses circles so you can use those tools but what I really want to introduce this week is the lasso tool so it looks like this and if you click and hold on the corner you see there's three different types of lasso tools. So I'm going to show you how each of those work. All right, so let's say I've already started this document and I pasted in the background photo that I want to use for my collage. And I want to copy some real eyeballs and put them on here. So I have this picture of an eye that I got on Pixabay and I'm going to show you the different lasso tools you can use. The way this lasso tool works here, it's a free form tool. So you just, however you click and drag around any object, it will select it that way. And wherever you, when you let go, it'll just close the gap for you. So now you can see you have these little dotted lines. That means that's what you've selected. If you don't like the way you selected something, you can just do control D, which is deselect, and you can start over. So this collage thing, it's okay if things are kind of rough. You don't have to try to be like really neat and go around the edge of everything. It can kind of just look cut out. So let's say I want to use this and I do control C to copy. And then I go on my ghost and I do control V paste. And now I'm going to do control T transform and I'm going to make the eye smaller and move it up here on my ghost. Maybe I'll make it a Cyclops ghost. All right, and then you press the check mark when you're done. So I want to show you other lasso tools that are in here besides just the free form lasso tool. So I'm going to do control D and deselect. So let's get the next one. The next one is called polygonal lasso tool. The way that one works is when you click and let go of your mouse, it makes like straight lines. So it's almost like if you're using scissors. So you just click and let go. You just keep clicking and let go, click and let go, and it will make lines, straight lines. What's important about this tool is that when you get to the very end, see how a little circle pops up? You need to make sure that you close your path. And that little circle there lets you know that you've hit the end of your other, your starting point and you can close it. So make sure you do close it, otherwise it'll just keep making a path until you close it. And let's say, I'm going to make some mistakes here, let's say I did a bunch of stuff and I don't want that. If you press delete on your keyboard, it will just keep backing up. So you can press delete as many times as you need to until you get rid of those extra lines and then you're going to close your path. 
And then once again, you do control C, and then you can go to your document. Whoops, not that one. Then you can go to your document and do control V. So that's two different ways you can use lasso. Let me show you the very last way. I'm going to do control D to deselect this one. So what the magnetic lasso tool does is it tries to find the line that it sees on the picture, like wherever there's contrast. So like let's say I'm dragging it around the edge of this eye. Even though I'm not doing it very neatly, it's picking up the edge of that eye and it's trying to find out where, where to select. So it's picking up on the edge. And then you can close that again with the circle. So notice how I got a cleaner selection that way. It really would work good to do like the inside of this eye because there's a really sharp line where you can see the difference between the black and white. So let me show you that. Let's do control D to deselect. So when I click and drag this along the edge of that eye, see how it does a pretty good job of picking up the edge of the eyeball because it can really calculate where that edge is. And it's just like the other lasso tool. If you forget to close it, it's going to make a bunch of extra lines you don't want. Just keep pressing the delete key on your keyboard or backspace, and it will get rid of the extra dots that you didn't want. There we go. And then I can just continue to come back and then make sure that I get to close it with that little tiny circle that pops up. Let's me know that that's the closing point. So one of the things I want you to do on this assignment is to copy and paste some letters or some type of text and put it on your assignment. So you can either make a title or write your name or just some different words. And I want you to use these font sheets to do it. So on page 23 of our slides, you can find a download link. So you're going to click that and download them. And you'll get this window to open up. And then you can like double click on one that you like. And then download it here. And I already have one downloaded and opened in Photoshop. So the way this works is you'll get the uh, lasso tool. I would recommend either using the first lasso tool or the polygonal one. These are on a transparent background. So let me show you how this would work. So maybe you can zoom in. And I can just take my lasso tool and just draw a box around whatever letter I want. So I have that selected and I can copy it and go to my collage. And go back to a letter and just do the same thing. Do control D to deselect, but then go find the next letter you want and just use the lasso tool to drag a box around it. Remember the checkerboard means it's transparent. So you do not need to sit here and try to select your letter by going around the edge very carefully like that. This is already transparent here. So no matter what I select over here, it can be you know, a very messy selection as long as I'm staying to the outside of the letter all I'm going to get is the letter when I copy it. So then I do control C and go back to my document and do control V. All right, so I want you to put some uh, lettering and text on your collage as well as some imagery.